time, so it's always appreciated. I don't think there's any time twitch puzzles in this game. I really don't. I don't think there are. There are some fairly devious, nonsensical, I don't know how the hell you'd figure out the solution to switch puzzles, but there was a really only one, one spawn in the game. Counterattack! Random chances to counterattack. Those are always nice. Jack really is the one who does that the most, I'm gonna guess. It's been so long since I played this game. There's not really too much funny. That's a lot of torches, and they're all lit for no one being here. Yeah, yes, I want to say it. That was something that irks me in, in games, is like, why are there so many torches when nobody's supposed to be here? Regardless, I'm just gonna see somehow. Switch fire, why does it burn? Yes. Spikes. As you can see, there's very tiny spikes right there. And there's spikes on those switches too, which you can't see probably. See, I think I might just walk over them. That, yeah, you can just get over them as long as you don't stop. Or get into a fight that right after. Skeleton! What does the most damage of anyone? That's a lot of damage. Oh, good. Another good reason to do Jack and Rudy's scenario first is that Cecilia is not the best physically, and there are some enemies in her scenario that can inflict a status on her where she can't heal. So if you get that inflicted on you, you basically have to leave the dungeon in order to get it cured, unless you have the specific item that cures it. And that can be a pain, because you could die before you get out, and if you play as the other characters, you can at least uh, buy a few items and the inventory will transfer over. You don't really stay separated for long, you all join forces really, really quickly. Blue skeletons! Level 3! Awesome! I'll wait for the spikes to go down. Gloves are great. So let's see. Yeah, left hand. Runes, don't have any. Don't get those till later. Uh, those going to play with Cecilia mostly. But they give everyone some stat bonuses. How do I hit both switches at once? There's a blue. Hey, you teleport. I gotta get enough HP. So, you'd wonder what happened to that guy. I guess he just died. Mysterious device. Don't touch it! L? That's how I pronounce it, E-L-W. I guess some people will say Elwa. I say L, just because it's a little bit easier. They're just kind of like humans? I guess they're kind of elf-like. Sync with the laws of nature. This is a holographic image. Yeah, this this game is a little bit weird in that it's kind of <laughs> with your thick skull. This is certainly advanced technology. This game is a little uh, weird in that there's technology and people aren't like, whoa, this is weird. Even though everyone uses swords, pretty much. With the deal's icy breath. Destroy. Next time, chew cinnamon gum. I don't know. It's supposed to mint. <laughs> Death wind. The heartbeat of annihilation. She's not really all that strong, actually. You have to fight her later. Spoilers. And she's not really a huge plot Ow. element either, but anyway. That, that was awesome. Paddle Hut means light. Shall we go there? Kingdom 
located to the southeast. And we're out. Now, okay, let's assume I don't screw this up. Uh, I'm gonna be sure I'm... Uh, well, okay, whatever. If I screw it up, I'll just run through the dungeon again without the video. Typos, please? No? Yay! And the door opens, but yeah. You don't learn that name till later. And uh, I can't actually get the treasure anyway, because I need uh, Cecilia, which is the girl, to open the door in there. So I'll just leave. I never even had to use Psycho Crack. Jack doesn't... Okay, okay, never mind. I'm derp. Jack does have a past. It just doesn't come into play till way later. Of course he has a past, but I mean, like, one that's important. Anyway... The darkened path to the future. So dramatic. Anyway, um, I'm guessing I'm going to go to Rudy, since I can very easily save and stop this video. And I can also buy items for when I go to Sicilia, since I don't want Sicilia to get gimped out of a 20 minutes of playing time, because I get hit with a status and then can't heal myself. Yeah, the world is called Philgaia. Um, I guess it's kind of supposed to be ruined. It's not really all that ruined. There's monsters, yeah, but people aren't really like, it's so bad. I don't know. Uh, the, the setting in this game, I, I kind of like it, even though it's kind of lacking, most people would say, but... Uh, the later games are much more Wild Westy, from what I understand, and I kind of like this one to being a bit more fantasy-ish. But anyway, let's push some barrels against the wall. Air Peefer. Okay, what's my name? We're going to leave it as Rudy. I'm one of those people who usually leaves names at the default. You got a berry. I'm gonna go save in this video. Oh yeah, barrels. Sometimes you can find items. Not in those. I'm sure I'll find some later. Like that, I got 17 Gela. And you save at this parrot. Don't ask me why. Parrot the parrot save parrot is never explained, but it's a parrot. And I'm saving. Anyway, uh hope you enjoyed the video. So let's see how long it took. 14 minutes, sweet, right under the YouTube limit. Awesome. Um anyway, until next time. Bye.